What's up guys, Justin here with TheRenderingEssentials.com back with another Lumion vs. Twin Motion video for you. So in today's video we're going to compare the different weather and season settings contained inside of each program so you can get an idea of the capabilities of each one. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. Alright, so the, for this week's video we're going to be using the same example model as last week's video which is the Art Center designed by Taz1985. You can download that by going into the SketchUp 3D warehouse and searching for this name. And so what I wanted to do in this video is I wanted to go through and talk about some of the weather settings and the season settings contained inside of each program to give you kind of an idea of the capabilities and uh, kind of what each one can do when it comes to weather. So I wanted to start by talking about Lumion. And so in Lumion the weather settings are adjusted for your final rendered image by going into photo mode. And then inside of photo mode and we'll go ahead and create a new view. So inside of photo mode, you're going to add different effects in order to create these different looks inside of Lumion. So to start off, let's take a look at the sky and clouds effect, because that's an effect you can actually use to um, fairly well simulate weather inside of the program. So in order to do that, you're going to go into your styles over here, and you're going to click on the button for add effect. And inside of add effect, if you go to this fourth setting in the weather and climate settings, there's actually an option in here for custom sky and clouds. And so if you click on that, what that's going to allow you to do is that's actually going to allow you to adjust the way those clouds look and customize them. So you can see how you can add high clouds or low clouds, and then you can also adjust their position until you get a look that you're kind of going for here. So you can adjust this to try to get different cloud effects in here depending on what you're trying to do. So you can also adjust the brightness. You can make this dark, you can make this brighter, um, you can adjust different things. It's really kind of customizable in here. In addition, you also have the ability if you want to, instead of doing the sky and clouds effect, you can also select an overcast real sky. So for example, you would add the real sky effect and uh, I think this got added in Lumion version 9. But you would go into your um, you would go into your real skies, you'd go into the overcast settings, and there's actually a couple different overcast HDRI images that you could add that are really realistic and have some really realistic clouds. So you can see how this would probably good, be good for a rainstorm or a thunderstorm or something like that. So you can do your custom clouds or you can add a real sky in the background inside of Lumion. So within twin motion, um, you affect and change the way that the seasons work inside of your image settings. So in twin motion, what you do is you set up an image down here, and then inside of the more settings in your image, you actually go into your weather settings here, and you can adjust those using this slider. So that's where you find that inside of Twin Motion. And so with Twin Motion, what this gives you is this gives you the ability to adjust this slider to add clouds in the background. And note that after a certain point, these clouds block the uh, they block the sun, which therefore affects uh, both the way that your shadows look, but also just kind of the brightness of your surfaces and things like that. So you can use this this uh, slider to adjust the way that the clouds are in here. And note that as you drag this along here, this will add other things in here like precipitation and stuff like that, which we'll talk a little bit more about in a minute. But the clouds aren't really super editable in this case. Um, they really just kind of get added in there or they get removed out, but you can't really adjust like their location or anything like that inside of Twin Motion. So in addition, you can also adjust the fog settings inside of Twin Motion by going over into your effects on the right hand side. There's actually a setting in here marked as smog that you can turn up and down. I'm not really sure why they didn't call this fog because that's really what it is. So I'm a little confused about that, but that's where you can adjust that setting. And the nice thing about the smog is if you add that with like a rainstorm or something like that, it really kind of adds to the realism of that scene. So you can either have it be completely clear like this, or if you drag this up, you can add that kind of extra moisture that's in the air um, that you get inside of a rainstorm. And so within uh, Lumion, there's a similar setting, but you would add that over here by going into your effects 
and adding a fog effect. So the effect is actually something that you add into your effects stack over here. And then you can use this to adjust the density of that fog as well as the brightness. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna disable my real sky and I'm gonna leave my sky and clouds turned on. Maybe turn the brightness down a little bit. Maybe I'll just leave it as is. But with this one, you can adjust the fog using all of these different sliders. So you can adjust that density up. And you can see how as you add that density, this gets closer and closer to your camera. And uh, if you go all the way up, it'll completely block your view. But you can see how you can really kind of adjust this level using this slider. You can also adjust the fall off, which affects how high up in your image that fog is. So how high off the ground. And then you can also adjust the brightness in here as well. Um, you can adjust the color if you want to. Um, that kind of depends on the kind of effect you're trying to create more than anything else. So you can see how if I put this to like a bright green or something like that, everything starts looking a little bit weird. So now let's take a little bit closer look at the actual precipitation effects contained in both programs. So inside of Lumion, you add the precipitation by going into your effects under weather and climate, and you just add the precipitation effect. So you can see how when I add that precipitation effect, what that does is that starts adding in precipitation and also things like puddles and other things like that. And you can add both rain and snow and you can adjust that by using this slider to adjust if you want to add rain or snow. So um, if you go to about right here, you get kind of a rain snow mix. If you drag it all the way to the right, you get 100% snow. You drag it all the way to the left, you get 100% rain. And so one thing you can affect is how far into your weather event you are um, by adjusting this precipitation phase. So if you think about it, think about it like if you drag this all the way to the left, it's the beginning of a rainstorm. If you drag it to the middle, it's the middle of a rainstorm, which means that you're going to have uh, more puddles and things like that on your surfaces. And then all the way to the right, it's going to be dry again. Then you can also adjust these particles that are in here. So you can adjust how many of the particles are in here as well as the size of those particles using these sliders. And so one thing you're gonna see, especially when you start dealing with more of the snow, is when you drag this to the right and you add snow, you can see how the snow actually gets placed on the different models and things, um, the different individual models inside your overall rendering. Uh, one thing you're gonna notice is if you drag this to the right, you can see how all of a sudden these, uh, these trees start blocking the snow. So this blocked by plant setting is gonna allow you to affect if the trees are gonna block the snow from getting all the way on the ground or not. So if you want like complete snow, you can turn that off. Or if you want this to have a little bit of green area underneath like this, you can adjust that this way. And this block bias is also going to affect that. So you can see how the more I drag this, the more things inside your model or inside your rendering start blocking the snow. So you can kind of customize how much that snow gets blocked by each item um, by using the block bias. And you can see how when I set this to the middle, this chair also blocks the snow on the ground. So um, you can kind of play around with that to get the look that you want. The other thing that this will do is this also allows you to do an extra fog addition. So the extra fog addition is going to add more fog into your rendering by using the slider. So you can see how if I drag this to the left, this will allow you to add even more fog, which again gives you that kind of uh, gives you that kind of moisture in the air look that you get inside of like a rainstorm. So within twin motion, the way that you affect the weather settings is you use this slider at the top of the page to affect if the precipitation is coming down or not. And so you'll notice that when I drag this in around this cloud right here, um, the precipitation is at its highest. And this kind of effect, this kind of does the same thing where you can see how as I drag this along, this simulates the stages of a rainstorm. So like this would be like the early stages before a whole bunch of water has really like piled up into puddles and stuff. And then as I drag this along, you can see how I get puddles and things like that on the surface. Surfaces. And then if I drag this a little further, then I get kind of wet surfaces, but I don't necessarily have the precipitation coming across my scene anymore. And so within Twin Motion, if you wanted this to be a snowstorm, what you would do is you would go down into the second 
row right here and you would drag this over to more of where the snowman is and so when you drag this over to where the snowman is this is going to change your precipitation from uh, rain to snow and one thing to note about this this is really interesting is uh, your deciduous trees in here um, when you drag this into the snow um, these actually go to more of a winter time setting meaning there's not leaves on the trees anymore and that's something that you don't necessarily I don't think see as much of inside of Lumion so you can see how when I drag this to the right with these trees um, these trees just get snow on the leaves and they don't really go to the winter setting now in version 9.5 they did add a number of trees that are more um, more winter trees so they don't necessarily have as many leaves and things like that but you would have to place them inside of your model um, to get that look where inside of twin motion this will just take these to that version um, whenever you select the snow settings so not a whole lot of editability in here but it's really easy to add that snow um, effect inside of here using this uh, program so note that if you drag this a little further to the right, you can get the snow on the ground without the actual snow particles showing up in your screen. So another feature I want to focus on a little bit is I want to focus on the fall colors. So inside of Twin Motion, if you use trees out of their library, notice that as I drag this along, the color of the trees is changing. So I'm going to move this back to something kind of sunny, but then I'm going to drag this along, and you'll notice when I drag this to like autumn, right here your trees actually automatically change to autumn um, along with the season that you have selected in here so you can see if I drag this back to summer they're green if I drag them to autumn they automatically turn orange you can manually adjust that if you want so by clicking on these trees there's options in here for auto season so if you wanted these to stay green or go directly to winter you can adjust those inside of the individual tree settings so you can either have it do that automatically or you can do that manually um, so within t or within Lumion that's a little bit different in the sense that uh, you don't necessarily that doesn't necessarily happen automatically what it does instead is there's an effect in here if you go into add effect under autumn colors and then let's kind of zoom in so we can see one of these trees um, because it's kind of clipping the vegetation out depending on where my camera is if you turn the autumn colors up you can see how you can actually adjust the color of your plants using this slider and you can also adjust the saturation to make that a little bit brighter and so for the trees themselves if you want them to be multiple different colors what you can do is you can adjust the hue variation you can see how when I adjust the hue variation and probably turn the saturation down a little bit because those are kind of bright if you adjust the hue variation that means that these trees are going to be different colors so there's more variation in here so there is an autumn color setting inside of Lumion but it doesn't it doesn't change them automatically based on the seasons you will have to do that manually so and then the last thing I want to take a look at really quick is just the wind settings um, and the wind settings you can't add a wind effect inside of photo mode inside of Lumion which makes sense because that's an animation function so you can't add that in here under wind but if you go into your movie mode and let's say we wanted to add a new movie so I'll delete the one I had in there we could just record a couple clips and just adjust adjust the length of this clip and then click OK well once you have your movie kinda set you can go into your effects and you can add a wind effect that's gonna make these move around with the wind inside of your rendering so you can adjust the strength of that by using this slider so you can see how if I move this to the right my trees move more than if it was moved to the left so within twin motion you can also affect the wind and you can do that by going into your image settings and all of these are really adjusted inside the image settings um, but under your weather settings and your effects there's an option for wind speed you can see if you drag this up these really move around a bunch you'll notice that your grass moves around and animates as well and you can adjust the direction that that wind is blowing from to adjust the way that your trees are moving so you can also adjust the wind speed inside of twin motion as well 
So that's where I'm going to end this video. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought. Which one do you prefer based on these uh, features? Um, do you use one or the other? I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new rendering content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.